made in Julian oscillation. What is made in Julian oscillation? How does it affect the tropical climate, especially the Indian monsoon? So how these cycles developed? How does MGO become stronger or weaker? Hello aspirants, welcome to Geography. So today's topic is Maiden Julian Oscillation. What is Maiden Julian Oscillation? How does it affect the tropical climate, especially the Indian monsoon? So let's we begin uh, this session today. So in 1970s, American atmospheric sciences discovered a concept uh, in 1972 called as MJO effect or called Maiden Julian Oscillation. Here the warm waters in the equatorial regions move from the African coast crossing Indian Ocean towards the move toward the Pacific Ocean till the American coast of Pacific. And the system is a cyclic period. It is repeated from 30 to 60 days. So that's what MGO cycle is also called 30 to 60 days atmospheric cycle. So how these cycles developed? Now this is connected to the system of oceanic water movement. So equatorial warm waters actually moving from the Somalian or African coast towards this at the rate of 8 to 12 meters per hour. So when the speed is little more, the cycle get completed less than the 30 days and it will be up between 10 to 30 days. In this situation we call MGO is very, very strong. When the cycle is slow, it takes around a uh, little less uh, more time to uh, reach to the Pacific and again reappeared. In that situation, the speed is more than, uh, speed is less than the 8 meters uh, per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. It is less than that. It is generally remain between 4 to 8 kilometers per hour. And that situation, the cycle take a little longer period of time, more than 60 days, it will be between 60 to 90 days cycle. So this situation we defined as the weaker MJO effect or weaker made in Julian oscillation. So how does MGO become stronger or weaker? So generally what is happening in these warm waters are there in the equatorial region and this is shifting from equatorial uh, uh, di uh, locations from west to east direction and depending on the a location we can say MGO is present where. So in a this cycle is divided into eight phases actually. Two phases is in the Indian Ocean and the rest of the six phases are in the Pacific Ocean. And what is the role of this situation? The role is that it can explain the when will be a rainy day, when will be a dry spell or even it can explain the intra-seasonal uh, variation in the uh, rainfall in India, especially in the month of uh, this called monsoon seasons from June to September, some months of June may be surplus, sometime July will be surplus or deficient or August will be more or September will be more. How we can say this? So now depending on the position of MGO, we can say will be a dry spill or the wet spills are there. Now in the situations of uh, of stronger MGO, we can see that this is again and again in a short period it is reappearing. So whenever warm waters are present, we call that situation as the rainy days. How? Because warmer waters produces more convection and that phase also called deep convection and produces more cloud and the cloud is pushed by the southwestern monsoon towards the India and causes rain. So you can predict the rainy days during that period number one. Number two, who, what happened when these waters are cooler in the Indian Ocean, uh, then the cloud formation will be less and when the cloud co formation is less, less rainfall is possible over India and that produces the dry spill. Now to understand when will be a rainy day or when will be a dry day in the country, so the satellite is observing the Indian Ocean. Okay. So, and that concept is called OLR, means outgoing long wave radiation. If OLR values are positive, it means the more radiation is be lost and the water bodies become cooler and that resulting into a dry 
spell or that situation also called as a suppressed convection phase. In case of uh, what happened, this situation become more warmer, warmer water bodies are there, then deep convection become enhanced and the resulting into more cloud formation and the more rainfall or the wet days are being there. So during the rainy season, when MGO is strong, so OLR value is becoming negative in that case. When the dry days or the breaks are there, OLR values become the positive. Thank you all of you.